Hello, I'm Yoshiki Oshima, and I just flew from Los Angeles, California this morning. So yeah, let's have some some fun. And the so I, I am going to talk about uh, the view viewpoints intelligent archive, and this is so I'm going to do two talks during this com uh, conference, and this one is sort of the light-hearted sort of the fun part of it. And I'm going to do more technical one on Friday. So just uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the show. So I've been using Smalltalk for 25 years or so, and I know many of you by name, but I've never seen you before, right, in person. And I just didn't expect to see this many gray hair, but that's what it is now. So the, anyway, so, I started playing with Squeak in 1998, and I joined Walt Disney Imagineering in the year 2000. That's where Alan Kay's group was, and I worked with him since then. And so Alan, Alan's group, well, most of us got laid off in the year 2002, and I stayed there just one more year, but in the year 2003, I was also laid off. But we stuck together, and Alan Kay and Kim Rose started an um, organization called Viewpoints Research Institute in 2001 or two. And that's, so the, they basically kept going. The sponsors changed, but Alan Kay worked, worked on the same problem for many, many decades. And so I was basically, so viewpoints had ups and downs in funding. And sometimes I was the only one basically person who commuted to the office. So Kim, Alan, Kim, and I are the only three ones at the office. So we talked a lot of stuff together. And the, I noticed that the office had those bookshelves. I should, maybe I can do this. So the, if you, this is sort of when we were basically packing stuff to move out, but right? notice there are videotapes and there were videotapes in those bookshelves and I was noticing it, but didn't think about much because I was just a regular programmer. I am a regular programmer, but so those tapes are like those, like John McCarthy's talks and you, you don't know what this is, probably. This is audio tape, but open real tape. And there are tapes like this, so zero. And this is called the U-Matic, or three-quarter inch tape. That was before BHS. And many of you probably do not know what BHS is. And those tapes. And this one was whatever. So the, and also, they have those slides. So we still use the term slides today, even though it's like PowerPoint or Keynote. But the term came from this 35 millimeter, like slides, so to speak. And the, those were still kept when I was commuting to the office. So, the, so one day I realized that, oh, those videotapes Will be will die and become unplayable if nobody does some anything. So I realized that somebody has to preserve those videotapes and record it. So I started bringing back a videotape, like on average one videotape a day, and go home and I set up the video player at my home and played it, and oftentimes with beer but I watched those 1,000 tapes, all of them, like every day, and the categorized and all sorts of stuff. And yeah, this is the tangential pictures, but the office had auto computers, and this is Dan Ingers, this is Aran, and this is like a comic book, uh, a Japanese comic author wrote, so you might want to see it. And so anyway, so I digitized those 1,000 videotapes, so, and this, I set up a website. We set up a website called Intelligent Archive. The URL is here. And so what you can do, so basically there are, um, 
I have more tapes, but a link or page that shows um, all Alan K's talks I got hands on, and there are a bunch of bunch of talks. And for example, if I go to the first one, the computer applications um, a dynamic medium for creative thought by Alan K. So notice the date. This is 1972, and the video recording was available. And this was the only remaining tape, and I digitized it. And if I play, you can it's now clear to us that this is a word on one YouTube Chris Reader. For any part is okay here. So I would... let's get in this talk. Alan was describing his ideas and his vision, and not only that, he was showing demos available. And if I do this, the staff by highlight looking at Winnie the Pooh, as a matter of fact, in that other font. And here I'm just drawing in. So the this is a transcript from the video. And the, basically I can search uh, or whatever. I, I do this search after. But you can look in the transcript and I click on it. To this, and it jumps to that diamond. time code. What you have so is essentially a... If you search a term you are interested in, and get a list of like talks and you click on it and you can jump to the time code. And so though, so th yeah, that's like the one of the, that is the oldest video I heard. But there was an interesting uh, workshop in, in 1986 and it was called ACM Conference on the History of Personal Workstations. And they had all those the important people, like Alan Paris, Alan Newell, Fr no, network is Frank Kuo. Oh no, sorry, the, this one, this Rick Leider, sorry, the Rick Leider, Larry Roberts, Douglas Engelbert, Alan Kay, and they gave, uh, those really important, like pioneers, gave a talk at this conference, and they recorded the talk. But Computer History Museum and ACM forgot about that they did it. But this was like six, seven years ago. Um, they realized that oh, we have, we must have preserve, we must preserve those tapes. And they started looking into it. And they dug up their archive and they digitized. But by the time they have lost few of the talks, like the the one by Rick Leider and the one by Engelbart, those are lost. But I uh, viewpoints kept it and I digitized. So they managed to assemble the full list based on what what they had and what we had. So on their page, so that I mentioned there. So this is, all those videos are really interesting. So I suggest to watch it. But also, so Alan gave a talk, but if you have watched Alan Kay's talk, it's really about humor. And yeah, so let's see. So the official version, oops. This is the official version. So he gave a talk and doing was in the air then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of hookup between Utah and- Many of, yeah, you should watch this, but also the, what happened was that this event was at Xerox Park and the uh, Xerox employee was a video editor. And he worried about that Alan K criticizing Xerox executives and like IBM, he made IBM jokes and the video editor was so afraid to release the entire talk. So actually the, the version you see on the web is edited. So the fun part is edited out, but he had, he did the right thing, which is to keep those edited out part and make a shorter video and send it to Adam. So if you look for this apocrypha of the history of the personal workstation, you see it. And the let's see what happens here. Uh, maybe I should do this. Copy. And this I used to 
Oh yeah, so it may be I do this. By the way, so the tool I'm using is a multiplayer to the collaborative tool we wrote recently, and I'm going to talk about this tool on Friday. So if I play that right great artists can see down here with technical flows, and then in our civilization they bring it over here where they where you can apply six centuries of technique to make it the most beautiful thing that can be imagined. So this notion of being able to move from one to another was very telling. Better to show them. That's why we started giving demos right away. <laughs> but much better to get them to do it. And that was something that we didn't do so well at. See? Oh, yeah. That's like great artists. Actually, the video editor did the you know, official version was like this and showed it. And then next version comes See, in. their works down what here. Alan K. actually says. <clears throat> and then in our civilization, they bring it over here where, they, where you can apply six centuries of technique to make it the most beautiful thing that can be imagined. So this notion of being able to move from one to another was very powerful. And also this idea that when you try and explain things to people, the weakest way is to tell it. I never believed that until I uh, tried explaining things to Xerox executives, but... <laughs> You know, that kind of stuff, the Xerox executive part was cut out, but you can watch them now. And so the, another thing I noticed was that, so in 2000, it's a weird, but in 2004, Alan K got the Turing Award for 2003. And maybe Ox Oscar might have been there, but Alan K gave a talk in Vancouver at Uppsala. And ACM had a recording, and if you search, ooh, this one died, you know what? Oh. <laughs> I'm not better. If you search on, like, Alan K. Turing Award lecture, you go to the ACM official version. But the trouble is that people, still today, people sometimes do, but when computer person is giving a talk, they focus on the person who is talking when the actual interesting thing is happening on the computer screen. And like, no matter how much I wave my hands here, that like it's not gonna help people to understand why like I'm giving a talk. So the Turing Award talk uh, on ACM is like that. So wonder about its color. Wait, this is not, this is my version. So, so this is, the, oh, I messed up. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so this one, which one was it? <laughs> Sorry, so the ACM original one doesn't have the actual dynamic content. Uh, this can have some. Yeah, so this is the official version and at the same time code, 50. So Alan K is giving the talk on his computer and there's a dynamic demo going on but you don't see it. But what happened is that because I helped the demo, I had the squeak image he used. So the, oh yeah, why don't I actually recreate the dynamic content part and stick that into my video. So the... the Good afternoon. So well, to some time code thing isn't quite working. For greater than the challenge, we start getting bored have much of an undo. So here, I guess the same tape, but I you want some switch to, to attention. If you the drawing I was doing. So I recreated the same car. So I'm drawing and then uh, show you where I think things are then, actually going to go. So try to draw this same car with I don't draw it. It looked like this one. So want them to have an, ex an experience that is basically and yeah, so drawing is a simple part, but later in this talk, Alan you showed the 3D environment, which influenced our work today. But this is also what I'm doing. The Here also, but what I did actually was, so in earlier one, you noticed that the transcript was machine generated. And I didn't have like modern 
transcription software or, or anything. So what I had was um, word by word. Um, sequence of words, but some of those important ones, I actually edited the transcript and not only that, I added some uh, like annotations to the talk. So I can click on one of those places, presumably. No. Interesting. So if I click on like place, it still jumps to the time code and you see the dynamic content with my annotation attached. So this is another way to watch the Alan's talk, for example. Oh, weird. And so if you go back to, no, it's okay. So I'll go back to this site. So the, this is the intelligent archive site. And some of those talks says annotated or transcript. So those are the ones I sort of did some treatment to make it more readable and annotations and those stuff. So, so this is website and this similarly, so Alan gave other kinds of talks and some are audio only. Or well, he gave an actual talk, but what remained was a cassette tape on the audio. But again, because I watched so many Alan's talks, I can figure out what he was showing when he said it. So this video here is again, I stick in those slides and the images into the audio track and made a movie. So this person, it, does it say Charles Mann, uh, recorded the audio around 1955 and he sent us the cassette tape and I stick the visual content in. So how am I doing? Yeah, so, so of course, I, like I said, also, yeah, I, there are many talk, many videos besides Alan's talks, and I don't have everything on my YouTube channel, but some, some of those are. So the, as you might have seen, this is a small talk 76 demo, and I'm gonna skip forward. Yeah, like painting, and so those are, again, the old tips, but those important demos, people duplicated and dubbed it. So there are many copies, so I don't say I'm the only one who have it, but um, still it's fun to watch like old demos. And one thing you notice is that Smalltalk 76, and not to mention 72, the language was very different, actually. The syntax was very different. So one thing you should know is that they didn't, they weren't afraid of changing the language at all. They are happy to really burn the disk pack and start from scratch. But all, you know, keep the old learning in your brain, but do the new version. So that's sort of the interesting. So, you know, this is the model of 72, 76, 80. And yeah, what's next? Like we are kind of still using Smalltalk 80. So the, anyway, so like, like I said, Alan Kay's talk is a bunch of humors. And let's try this. This was Stanford talk. Oh, yeah. heard. Uh, it makes me think of oxymorons for some reason. Well, by the way, yeah, oxymoron is an uh, English term, like it's a contra contradicting phrase. You know what oxymorons are, like air airlines food, McDonald's hamburgers, C programming. <laughs> but the one that, uh, one that always strikes me on coming on, on the on coming is Stanford parking. <laughs> Big contradiction in terms. And then, of course, there's educational television, which is to squeeze an idea into 240,000 pixels. And perhaps the best one since I was here last uh, is Gates Computer Science. <laughs> yeah, so I guess... The, <laughs> so Bill Gates, sort of he transformed himself to be a good person. He is a good person, actually, I think. But back then, 
and in the world only Alan Kay can say, but you know, Bill Gates just stole those fun ideas and made money. And then he donated some money to Stanford to build a Stanford at the Bill Gates computer science building. So that was a joke, but okay, so this, <laughs> and there are a few, oh yeah, so let's try this. I'm not gonna show all of us. <laughs> But so the, yeah, let's try one more. Nope. Okay. Now where's the audio? We don't know. Oh, let's. Um, I don't know. Audio isn't. Working. You should watch it. Like you, you can find it. Then, um, yeah. So actually, so this one I'm not gonna show because it has some like R15 jokes, like a little bit of sex involved. So I'm not gonna play it. But you, this is really good one. I can, you can find it. So anyway, so that is um. Viewpoints Intelligent Archive, and actually not only videos, we have a bunch of papers and some old ones and really not available anywhere else. And so you can find some papers. And this is, as you can see, this is a media week site. So in theory, people can join and edit, which I, I sort of have a mixed feeling about it. But what, like I said, what I set up this website like six years ago and I didn't have modern technology, but today we have, you know, so-called AI and it can not only it can do a real transcription, but also it can find sort of what he's talking about and make cross references. And the, so this media wiki page should be much more richer. Like all ideas are linked together See, you can sort like demo democracy or something. You can search, like I said, if you search, there are talks where Alan mentioned democracy, for example. And if I, oh, wonder I can do it. So democracy, and if I click it, the, you can watch the video of that part, for example. But you, we can do much better job if I have time and you have time and with new technology. So. In some ways, I'm looking for um, like collaborators to make this website be better. So I think that is the my talk here. Thank you very much. You you talk about collaboration. So uh, which are the areas you think that can be improved, or what are your future plans for for this website? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, so what area I would it would be helpful to have collaborators. So basically, for short term, there are many videos. And like I said, the I used a uh, machine transcription and make those the word by word thing. But if somebody can come in and clean up the text here, for example, and make them readable English sentences, that would be very helpful. And oftentimes, like, you know, Alan was saying here, like, what, what, you know, people, when people talk, you may say a lot of earn and earn. So when you edit those out, it's much more readable. So if somebody can do that, that would be great. And the, the cross-referencing and those, yeah, that if you have, you can commit to your time, yeah, let's talk about it. It's hard to do, like, you know, on the weekends, I think so. But if somebody can do it, that would be great. Can you show the the address for this website in large enough so we can and the the web address? This. Okay. Thank you. No, and the yeah. This and also the YouTube channels of mine have some interesting stuff. Yep, thank you.